And it seems like it doesn't matter the year, it doesn't matter the coach. The same people are on the ice for these five on threes and the same results keep happening, which is overpassing, hardly any shots and wasted opportunities. Tyler Kennedy, who would know he's been on teams, never was on the first power play really, but he's been on a cup winning Penguins team, was on with us today on the PM team. We asked him about that. I just, I basically got exasperated. I said, Tyler, please give me some sort of like sane breakdown of why this stinks so bad when they go on a two man advantage. He got an interesting point. He said every team he was on, he was coached basically in those situations to, hey, we don't need you to get a goal. We'd like one. But if you get a five on three, you better get a ton of momentum and tilt the ice and have that team on their heels by the end of it. And the recipe that he sort of laid out was you want to you hammer pucks at the net. You want to really collapse that defense, that triangle, and make them sort of make moves and react to you. And the Penguins do none of that. I mean... At the risk of sounding like the guy in the upper deck who yells the same thing every game, because I actually was that guy, because that's where our season tickets were, the top row of PPG Paints Arena. Pretty nice seat, by the way. Uh, I will just tell you, shoot the puck actually is good advice. I, I hate to say it, but the people who yell that year after year, power play after power play, are right in this case. You get a five on three, I don't care if you have the five most talented players on earth, shoot the puck. Exactly. Uh, I mean, I can understand it more when the lanes are clogged on five on four, but five on three, there's no excuse. Break down a defense. The only way to do that is to get. Anyway, there's a lot to talk about with this. We'll also, you know, delve into the future now. And it looks like a lot of guys may not be back. They've got money concerns. They've got contracts to deal with. They also ultimately may have lots more money to spend as a result. So we'll break this down. What's going to happen next in this offseason, which will be very busy for the Pittsburgh Penguins. That's coming up. We'll also talk about how the Pirates won up themselves. Yesterday, they win a game with no hits. Today, the leadoff man for the Chicago Cubs in the bottom of the first hits a grand slam. How does that happen? We'll tell you, we'll tell you about it coming up right here on the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. It's live, Pittsburgh CW and 93.7 The Fan.